Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. And I'm just using my phone right now because my camera's dead and I've decided to make this. I think I want to make it a series. So the other day I actually made um, chocolate hazelnut spread, which is also known if you buy it in the store, Nutella. So homemade Nutella. And... I didn't film it, but I will make another video for it. But today, I'm going to make some homemade peanut butter. And literally, that's all you need is roasted, salted, or unsalted peanuts. Um, if you get salted, you don't need to add salt to it. And a little bit of sugar to make it sweetened, if you want it sweetened. And a blender, or a food processor, whatever you have. If you don't have those, run to the store and get one. If you can't, go to the store and buy your peanut butter. <laughs> but... Yeah, um, my mom got this for Christmas, and I, because I made hazelnut, I made a joke, and I was like, I'll take that and make you some peanut butter, and she's actually out of peanut butter, and she was like, bet, <laughs> and so I'm making her peanut butter now, so I decided I'm going to film this and make it a series. I want to make almond butter, cashew butter, um, and I'll film my hazelnut butter, my Nutella, I guess, homemade Nutella, so... All I'm going to do is dump this whole container. I'm going to measure it out. The recipe that I see most of the time for most nut butters is with three cuts, three cuts, three cups of nuts. So I'm going to, I think this is 16 ounces. That's only two cups, right? I'm going to measure this out, see what I got, and then go based on that. All right, so it is a beautiful, like, three and maybe a half a quarter cup of peanuts so I'm just gonna stick with the three cup recipe and what you're gonna do is literally just blend this for 10 minutes but you're gonna stop like every minute until it is beautifully smooth so if it's smooth before that then just blend it based on the consistency consistency you would like <laughs> You will have to stop it a lot more in the beginning um, because it's thick, but once it starts getting smooth, it's almost like it can just keep right on going. There is the texture after one minute. This is after three minutes, so we got a long ways to go, but she's getting really nice. If you think you like this texture, I would say call it good, but I'm going to try and get it as creamy as possible. So I'm at four minutes, and I'm going to like add like a tablespoon of sugar, um, taste it, and add another tablespoon. My mom wants sugar in hers, so I'm just going to do it like a tablespoon at a time while I finish the blending process, I guess. Now that is what I was looking for. That's beautiful right there. Hope you can see me. We're now going to try and pour this in here without making a mess of mess. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. She gets more runnier than the Nutella. Oh, okay, I'm making a mess. definitely do this and this needs to be stored in the fridge also so these are not shelf safe really because they put additives and preservatives and stuff in peanut butter so put these in the fridge and nut butters if you want to like make a big batch you could actually store these in the freezer up to three months I think and one month in the refrigerator so if you don't eat a lot of peanut butter cut it in half 
But if you do, this is, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how much of a jar this is. I don't know. Um, but here it is. This is up to a, this is a 20 ounce water bottle. So that's how big it is. But anyways, that is today's video. So if you enjoyed that and want me to do a series with a bunch of different nut butters, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe.